What I want to do in this video is talk about the import of an XML file uh, into Carlson. Now, this job is set up in Carlson in international feet, as you can see here. And the drawing was brought in, and it's, it's currently set to international feet. And I want to import an XML. Now, this is a job I've been asked to look at, so you know, I'm kind of walking into this unsure of, of what we have and, and how things are actually organized. But I just want to show you the process and how, at least in this case, you'll see that you're prompted. Uh, Carlson notes that the land XML is in U.S. feet, the drawing is an international feet, and at this point, I'm just not going to scale it and bring it in as it was, uh, just to kind of see what's going on. And what I want to do is the easiest way to do uh, a comparison is to turn on the faces and then look at some detail areas. And the first thing we're going to do is kind of sneak over here to a curb area. And you'll see that um, right where my cursor is here, at the edge of this face, that should be over here at the top back of curb. So we do have a mismatch. And in that situation, uh, we've realized that, that there's something wrong. We just don't know what to do or how to do it. At this point, we're going to bring in survey and we're going to ask them for control, whether it's a localization or calibration. It really doesn't matter to us what format or what equipment they use. We're able to import anybody's uh, GPS information and verify. Now, we've seen uh, international foot states where the surveyors will use U.S. feet. We've seen U.S. foot states where the surveyors will come in with international feet. So don't assume there's any hard and fast rules, even though there's supposed to be. And what we want to do is just kind of verify what we're doing. Now, in this situation, let me, let me get rid of the surface import. If we come in and import this again, and we bring this in and go through the process. But in this case, we asked that, um, that Carlson applies a scale. It would actually bring that in. And let's get our faces back up again. It would actually bring that in and scale it to now work in and be in the correct spot. So now this file is located correctly. So we've made ourselves feel better by getting the surface to line up to the line work, but which one was correct? That's the difficulty. You sometimes don't know which one was right and how it was produced because somebody, even good intention, can press the wrong button and the export and import of these files is sometimes not tracked well and you've got to know what the correct units are and where the location is. So. With that being said, we now have files that are on top of each other. Um, we're going to go in and verify that things are correct. We've got some uh, uh, some property lines here, so there's probably some sort of uh, survey points or boundaries. This is a, a remodel of a larger parking lot, so there's going to be some information that we can track uh, to verify that this is in the right place. Now, let's take a look at the XML file itself. And if we look here, um, the units are shown in U.S. survey foot. So that is how this, this job came through to us. And you can go in here and just type foot. It would bring it to international feet. But we don't want to do that. We want to drill down. We want to see exactly what the idea was when this file was generated and who did it and most importantly why so we can get on the same page if we have to take the job and change the units from this point forward to something different than uh, is customarily used in that area that's not a problem that puts us on the same page as everybody else and that's the most critical factor because from that point forward if we mark the files mark the job correctly then everything is done so uh, people are on the same page. We can easily share information with engineers and surveyors and not have the difficulty of trying to either remember to do some type of, of scaling or, or uh, units change. And we can just continue with the job as it was done. And it makes life a lot easier.